Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see what is the difference between Azure and Snowflake. Now, there is always a confusion whether to choose Snowflake as cloud or we need to choose Azure as cloud. Now, both are cloud services which is used for different purpose. In this video, we'll see We'll start with a layman explanation and then we'll go deeper understand what is the difference between Azure and Snowflake and finally for which use case, which cloud to use. So that will be our end goal of this video. To start with, let's talk about Snowflake as well as Azure's overview and before that I'll be explaining a very layman turn explanation and then we will see the comparison between Snowflake and Azure and finally we'll see the use case. Now, to start with, if you see this picture, it says that full scale restaurant kitchen. Now, this is a kitchen, restaurant's kitchen. Now, if you observe carefully this image, in this kitchen, it's a fully equipped kitchen. That means you can have various cooking meal that you can have it. For example, it has ovens, it has grills, it has refrigerator, it also has some storage spaces. And we see that there are a lot of chefs who are actually preparing food. Now, this complete restaurant, if you see, I would say any meal you can prepare on any particular day. You have all the items, you have all the equipments. If you want to start, if you want to have a starters, yes, we can have it. If you want to have a desserts, yes, you can have it. If you have a main dish, you have it. I would say A to Z, every meal you can prepare in this fully scale restaurant's kitchen, right? Now, let's talk about another case where this is called a specialized dessert kitchen. Now, what is this here? This is also a kitchen, but this kitchen only focuses on desserts. Now, if you want to have a starters and a main dish, it is not possible here. This kitchen is specially designed for baking, where you can have pastries, cakes, right? And you see only few of the chefs are actually specialized in preparing. Now, you have seen two different kitchen. One is like a full scale kitchen and one is like a specialized kitchen. Now, if you have understood this, then it's all about comparing with Azure and Snowflake. Now, the same thing what you were doing here as a fully scaled kitchen, this is nothing but our Azure. Now, Azure is a Microsoft product. It's a Microsoft cloud services, right? And here you can have 200 plus services where it mainly focuses on, you can use it as a storage services. You can have all the machine learning, deep learning, AI, everything you can use. Apart from that, it also provides support to your security, identity. You can also deploy whatever you have done. You can deploy using DevOps. You can use it as a databases. You can use it for the analysis. You can use it for the data engineering. Apart from that, you can build an enterprise application. You can build a mobile application, web application. You can build everything. I can simply say that this is almost having 200 plus services and it works like a complete cloud services. That's what I've given an example. It works like a, a fully scaled restaurant. It works like a fully scaled restaurant kitchen. Everything you can do here. Everything you can do here. Now, if you're talking about what is a snowflake then? Now, snowflake, it's only for analytical platform. Now, as I said, this is a specialized kitchen, right? This is equivalent to a specialized kitchen where you can prepare only a set of desserts, right? The example which you have seen here, it is a specialized desert kitchen where you'll not be able to do anything else. This is only for preparing deserts. The same way we can relate that to a snowflake. Now, snowflake is completely focusing on data warehousing. You can share the data with end users. You can also pull the data from the different systems. You can use it as a data integration tool. Apart from that, you can also use it for analytical purpose, engineering purpose. But if you ask me, can I integrate with any, uh, any of the enterprise applications? Can I use it as a mobile application? Can I use it as a web application? 
in that case this will not support this complete snowflake is responsible only for data driven work and this is provided by snowflake now this is how it is different from azure now let's talk about few comparison in this slide, we'll talk only about the positives. What is the positives of Snowflake? Was it a positives of Azure? Now, if you see here in Azure, it actually has a, a large number of ecosystem. It has n number of services that you can work with. If you want to have a storage, computation, AI, ML, it supports a lot of features, lot of services where you can use it. Now, it also as worked with the Microsoft product, it integrates well with all the micro, Microsoft products. Even if you want to integrate with all the 200 services, you can do it. Apart from that, you can also integrate with Power BI, which is also a Microsoft product. You can do wonders here, right? And in terms of the usage, you can always work with both on-premises integration as well as a cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration. It supports. And since it is known for a brand, they have a lot of data centers, almost 40 plus, uh, 40 plus data centers they have globally, and it supports a wide number of services. And in terms of the security complaints, it's always on top, right? It always on top. Since you're talking only on the positive sides, it supports a lot of features. Now coming to a Snowflake, now Snowflake, it is having storage as well as a compute. Right, you can have the data storage as well as you can have the compute. And here it is a very much an excellent tool for data warehousing, analytics, and business intelligence works. This is only for specialized usage. If you want to build a report, if you want to build a data cleaning or integration, or you want to completely work with the data, now this is a right tool for you. Right. And since it works with a separate service, the data sharing is also very easy. And it provides a software as service. When I say software as service, everything you can do it within the software. It's like a software where you can have all of the features that is applicable to us. And in terms of the performance, this is also having a good performance for only data warehousing related works. And it also have a good optimization techniques when you are querying it. Now, all this you are talking about only positives, right? But as in then, Every coin has two sides. So let's talk about a bit of negatives. So in, in terms of cons, if you see Azure, since it works with a lot of other services, it integrates a lot of other services. Unfortunately, that becomes the cons here. It is very much complex in order to integrate it. Right. It has to make sure it is integrated properly. The security has to be maintained. The identity has to be maintained. The integrity has to be maintained. A lot of things are there. So that becomes like a negative. And since you are using a lot of services, it also can be a bit expensive and a learning curve. It could be slightly uh, steeper when it comes to a, for a new users, right? So these are the few cons, I would say. And it also provides um, a complete support from the Microsoft. I would say it's a vendor lock. When I say vendor lock, not with all the other cloud services, cloud services you can integrate it. It has slowly... Uh, been improving day by day, but at this point of time, that acts like a bit of negative point. Well, talking about the Snowflake, it is primarily focused on data warehousing alone, but it cannot be used for other cloud services. If you want to build a web application, mobile application, or even an enterprise application, then I would say Snowflake is not the cloud for you. It is not for general purpose. It is only for your data related, especially if you want to work with a data driven data warehousing, then this is a right service for you. And since it is like only specialized, it has a limited services. It is not comparable to Azure because Azure services almost 200 plus are there where you can use it for general purpose. Here, this is not for general purpose. And since we are comparing with a very huge cloud there, it has a bit of limitations. And I would say it supports a limited third party tools when we compare with Azure. And since this is known for working with the data warehousing systems, if you are using for smaller data, then it could be expensive, right? And cost, I'm not sure like if it is uh, better than this, but almost cost is same 
when we compare with both Azure and Snowflake. And as I said, this is mainly focused on the data we're using and not for anything else. Correct. Now, now we are talking about what is that? What is this used for? If you are talking for Azure, now Azure can be used for general purpose where you can build your web application, mobile application, virtual machines. You can use it as a machine learning, AI, data engineering, data analytics. You can also build a web application, host it, deploy it. You can do everything. Whereas if you talk about Snowflake, Snowflake is only known for working with data warehousing, analytics, data engineering, and also it works with data sharing and collaboration. You can share your data with any of the business users. Now, as in an, both has pros and cons, but if you ask me, your Azure is like your full scale restaurant where you can prepare any type of meal on a given day. Whereas if you talk about a snowflake, snowflake is like a specialized kitchen where you can prepare only one type of food. That is in this example, like a desert. It is used only for deserts. Snowflake is used only for data warehousing. Now that's the difference. Hope you understand. We'll come back with few more videos. Thank you.